Tonight, I'm going to be photographing one of the most famous regions of the night sky, the Horsehead and Orion Nebulae. As you can see, I'm excited, the dogs are excited. This is gonna be the only clear night I get in this new moon cycle to take this shot. And I wanna take it in this new moon cycle because the Orion constellation crosses the meridian at about 11.15 p.m., uh, which is absolutely perfect. I wanna capture it when it's at its highest point in the sky, particularly since it's in the north, which means that I have to shoot over my house, which is not ideal. I've previously shot both the Orion and Running Man Nebulae and the Horsehead and Flame Nebulae with my Evo Star, riding on my Star Adventurer Pro. But tonight I'm gonna try and fit all of that in uh, with my new Ascar ACL 200, and more importantly, it's going to be with the new ASI 294 MC Pro. Additionally, this is going to be the first night that I get to use my ASI Air Plus. I fiddled with it a bit, but this is going to be my first time actually taking any images with it. This will also be my first time doing any auto guiding. This is a really exciting night and I hope you stick around to the end because I got a feeling this is going to be a good one. So rather than balancing RA and deck separately, I like to just loosen both clutches at once and start waving the mount around in random positions. And as long as it doesn't move in any of these positions, then you know your balance is perfect. You can probably see me fidgeting a whole bunch at this point and the mosquitoes were just relentless. So it was time to head back inside, get more clothed and just wait for it to get a little bit darker. The first night out with my ACL 200, I did take this exact same shot with my Canon DSLR, which was totally unmodified. And you can see the results of that here. This is just a half an hour integration, but you can see the rough field of view that I'm going to be dealing with. And what I really want to do is obviously bring out more of the reds of the nebulae, but also bring out all of that dust and get a whole lot more signal to noise. I'm going to take as many exposures as I possibly can tonight. and. I'm gonna see what we get. I'm just going to be using the IR cut filter with the new camera. I am in Bottle 5 Skies, so you might say that some kind of light pollution filter might be beneficial, but uh, I just wanna see what this thing can do. And secondly, I wanna get all those beautiful colors of the nebulae. I don't wanna cut anything out. I see a lot of pictures of the flame nebula taken with more aggressive light pollution filters, and it just kind of ruins the color of the flame nebula. It's really this beautiful yellowy beige color in a stark contrast to the bright red horse head. So I want to get as much of that color contrast uh, as well as, uh, you know, light and dark contrast as I possibly can. So future Max here guys, I'm really, really happy with the image that I got of the Orion complex and you're going to see that very shortly. But uh, what ended up happening was after about three hours of really solid imaging, I just started to get a little bit low on the horizon and the light pollution was becoming a little bit much. So I switched targets to the Carina Nebula, which had risen quite high by that point. And I managed just under an hour on that target before the clouds came in and ended the night a little prematurely. But uh, I'm gonna show you that image of the Carina Nebula first, and then my final image of the Orion Complex. I hope you enjoy these two images. I am really, really happy with them. Uh, particularly impressed with what I got on the Carina Nebula with just 48 minutes of integration time. If you've enjoyed this one, guys, please consider hitting that subscribe button, which uh, not only helps me out, but also will keep you plugged in for any future adventures. Until next time, enjoy my images, and keep on looking up. Yeah.